A number of suborbital spaceflights were conducted during 2009, consisting of sounding rocket missions and missile tests. Between the start of the year and the 1st of March, at least 9 publicly announced suborbital spaceflights were conducted, the first of which occurred on the 26th of January. Topic: <laughs> January. Topic: <laughs> Delta 2. Delta-2 was a Japanese auroral and upper atmospheric research mission, conducted using an S-310 sounding rocket. It was launched from Area U-3 at the Andoya rocket range. The launch occurred at 015 Greenwich Mean Time on 26 January, making it the first recorded spaceflight launch of 2009. The mission was conducted by Andoya for JAXA and Nagoya University. Aces Aces consisted of two Black Brant rockets, launched from Poker Flat on 29 January. The rockets carried an auroral research payload for the University of Iowa. Aces I, using a Black Brant X, was launched at 9.49 Greenwich Mean Time, and Aces II, which used a Black Brant VB, followed 90 seconds later. Topic February Topic Trident two tests On the thirteenth of February, the United States Navy test fired a Trident two missile from the USS Alabama in the Pacific Ocean. This was one of two Trident two launches conducted in February, however, the date of the other test was not released. Topic: Turbopause. Turbopause was a series of spaceflights conducted by Clemson University to research the upper atmosphere. Four Terrier Orion rockets were launched from Poker Flat on the 18th of February at 9:52, 10:29, 10:59, and 11:47 Greenwich Mean Time. The rockets released trimethyl aluminium vapors into the upper atmosphere to study turbulence at high altitudes. Cyber Cyber was an infrared astronomy mission launched from White Sands at 10.45 on 25 February. A Black Brant X sounding rocket was used. The payload was operated by the California Institute of Technology, and the flight was reported to have been successful. See also 2009 in spaceflight